So this year we're, we're donating about 300,000 pounds of peppers. That's approximately 800,000 peppers. Um, next year we hope to increase that by about 40% to about 500,000 pounds altogether. If um, the Ontario government would step up to the plate and give um, growers, trucking companies, uh, different companies around Ontario a tax break, some sort of tax break, that would probably motivate them to donate a lot of time and product, trucking, various things. And there's, there's, growers, there's farmers and growers all over Ontario that dump product at certain times of the year. And every grower that I know takes pride in what they grow and they hate, they just hate to see that product destroyed in the field. The produce that we're donating is, is slightly scarred. Um, perhaps when it was harvested it was, it was cut a little bit. Um, it may be misshapen. Um, mostly that kind of product. It's not broken or rotted or anything like that. We, wouldn't, we don't donate anything like that. Um, it's, it's simply product that we can't sell to a chain store as a number one product. This is really important because if the food banks don't know what to expect, they won't be able to handle fresh perishable product. So from, from our docks to the food bank's docks, there has to be a lot of organization and logistical planning. So far there's been a great reception for fresh produce. There's also, I think in some of the beef and pork production, there's, there's donation programs going on as well now. So it seems to be really taking off. We need, we need a tax credit for some of these donations, just like if we were giving them a check. And I think uh, it would, there's going to be a great many farmers that would step up to the plate.